Here we go. And impact. The Gillette 3 impacts the Britannic Enthusiast. The Britannic Enthusiast climbs over the SS United States or the SS Gillette. And it's over. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back in Tiny Sailor's World, and today we're going to be having a ship battle with these three ships here. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we have the SS Gillette 3. This is a long-awaited ship that you guys wanted to see for a very long time. We're joined by Centrix and also Britannic Enthusiast, and we're going to have a full-on battle, as I mentioned. It's going to be really cool, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's start off with um, looking at your guys' ship. So yeah, let's start with Britannic Enthusiast. All right, so this is a variant of the Mauritania 2, as if it was later career. So it's got some slightly modernish blue accents on the hull and funnels, but you have maybe seen on some ships later in the 90s and uh, a little bit earlier even. So yeah, that looks really cool. And what's funny is we've got two blue ships as well. So you've got a kind of darker one and I've got a lighter one. So I'll hand it over to Centrix to explain what ship he's got. And I already know that he's got the Britannic there, but uh, yeah, is there anything special about this Britannic? Yeah, I have the HMHS Britannic and I made it have shell plating. Yeah, so how'd you do that? I did it by making the hot brick. So you've actually got shell plating all the way along, which is pretty cool, but uh, it may also strengthen your vessel. But you know what? I think it's time to go into battle. We're all here. Now, here's the rules. We can't use watertight doors. We can't use pumps. We are just going to be crashing into each other. The last one that's afloat wins the round. We're doing three rounds, and I'm pretty sure they're going to go very quick. But uh, are you ready, guys? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Centrix, yeah. you ready? All right. Awesome. I'm ready. All right. Here we go. All right. Three, two, one, and let the battles begin. Let's go. So... Um, I think I've already got a method here. Oh, well, um, that's failed miserably. I was gonna crash into you there, but, uh, that has failed. Enough. Yeah. I knew, not, I, I knew you were gonna do that. Yeah, and I think you just crashed into a tug. I'm not sure. Oh, you barely missed it. Okay. Yeah. Well, here's the advantage that my ship has. It's very fast, but here's I its weakness. <laughs> its turning radius is super wide, which means, uh, it may be difficult to, uh, crash into ships, so... What we want to do is obviously crash into ships, and maybe I can do this here. So, so here we go. Hello, Centrix. Well, How are you doing? All right. Oh, I just barely you. missed you. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, he's done. Funnels. His funnels have collapsed. Are you sinking? Yes. Oh, yes. All right, so that's one ship down. Now we've got uh, the, uh, what is the name of your ship, uh, Britannic Enthusiast? The Britannic Enthusiast. Wow, the Britannic Enthusiast is sailing, the Britannic Enthusiast. What a narrow miss there. I am taking on water fast, but not as fast as uh, Centrix over here, which is going down. Look at that. You can actually see the lifeboats lowering. That is super cool. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Just crashing into him for good luck. So, uh, you know what? I think maybe... Yeah, I think I might be able to scoot around here. Oh, my gosh. My ship is getting feel? lower in the water right now. I'm taking on so much water. Now, I have an advantage because I haven't even hit or taken damage to anything. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty much in the clear for now. I'm trying to turn around to get a hit on you, but it is not working at all. It is failing miserably. So, um, okay. yeah, I think Centrix has got a great view on this whole thing. He's about to see it all go down. Well, um, all I can do is just head in this direction and hope that I hit you and do damage. We'll see. Here we go. And impact, the Gillette 3 impacts the Britannic Enthusiast. The Britannic Enthusiast climbs over the SS United States or the SS Gillette, and it's over. The SS Gillette is sinking, so the Britannic Enthusiast has succeeded. So uh, how do you feel about that? I feel like I was able to plan that very quickly. Unfortunately for you guys, you both sunk. Yes. Um, somehow, you climbed over my ship. Not yeah. sure how. But, well, uh, the you thing did. is, Jesse, you can never underestimate the Britannic Enthusiast. It is a war beast. Yes, it is. I mean, look at it. It doesn't even have a list. Almost no damage at all. It is clearly the successor in this battle. But we're not done. Once this ship goes down, we're going to go ahead and go at it again, and we're going to see if we can succeed. But this time, we're going to do it at a different port, because why not mix it up? Now, as you can see, the SS Gillette 3 is sinking to the bottom for the first time. Actually, quite literally the first time, because I have yet to sink it until now. So there it is, going down by the bow in a traditional way, and heading 
to the bottom so let's go ahead let's spawn in southampton so let's go all right so here we are in southampton and i want to ask centrix how do you feel about losing the first round are you ready to take revenge for what happened yeah i'm ready to take revenge all right so uh make sure pvp is on and in three two one let's go all right so i'm gonna see if i can plan out a battle plan here as to taking out these vessels so first thing i'm gonna do is try to take out the britannic enthusiast this may be a risky job but uh oh, the ss gillette sure. 3 is quite fast so uh sir unfortunately the end uh. is near now that was oh. um unbelievably fast um, you are already sinking. I'm actually quite amazed that that just happened. I'm because... not sure how I was able to be that slow. Well, I don't think you were slow. I think I was just fast because obviously this ship can travel at like almost 40 knots. Yeah, I'm surprised that you just sank with one impact. That was um, a little bit surprising, but uh, you did win last round. So maybe this was coming for you. I'm not sure. But right now I'm looking for... Well, obviously, Centrix. He's somewhere out here. And as you can see, it's dark. It is pitch black. So, yeah. Uh-oh. I think I've got a glimpse of a ship trying to escape Southampton. I don't think that's very good. Hey, is that you, Centrix? Is that you out there? Yeah, that's me. Why are you running away? I'm headed to New York. Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot allow for that. Now, just imagine... You are the Titanic. Not very far off, obviously. But I'm the iceberg. Now that's a worry, okay? So, um, what are you gonna do in this situation? Go full speed. 21 Good luck. knots. Because I'm traveling almost double that. Alright, we're about to pierce the side of the Britannic. And boom! There it is! Are you sinking? Oh, no. Yes, you are! Oh, no. I have succeeded! I've actually damaged myself quite badly, though. So, um, there we are. The SS Gillette 3 has succeeded in destroying both the Britannic Enthusiast and the Britannic. So, yes. Now, um, I'm gonna sail off into the distance here. Now, um, let's go ahead, let's respawn, and let's see if, uh, they can actually get a hit on me again. Because, I mean, I think the only one who has not actually gotten a win so far is Centrix. So, I'm a little afraid to see what he's gonna come out with in the next round. All right, so here we are in San Francisco and we are about to go into round three. But before we do, we're actually gonna do another three rounds. So six rounds in total, but the next three rounds are gonna be with different ships. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into it. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get sailing and let's see if we can find our opponents. All right, so I'm looking for my opponents right now. Oh, I do see a ship over there. I actually see two ships, hold on. Uh, Centrix is about to die. Oh, actually, no, he isn't because he doesn't have PvP. Oh my gosh, I may have almost died there. Um, because I went to go crash into him and realized he didn't have PvP on, which would have, uh, well, it would have caused me to take damage. And, uh, yeah, just make sure to turn PvP on Centrix or else you're gonna kill everybody. Alright, so I'm gonna go around again and see if I can hit him. I missed him, obviously, because I didn't want to take damage myself. So, here we go. Let's go in for the death blow. So, I'm not sure if you're trying to move Centrix, but uh, I would recommend doing that right about now. Make your escape, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. You're about to see some serious yeah, destruction man. in a minute. I'm sorry, Centrix, but this just has to happen. Oh, my. And it's done. He's done. I am running Shield over the, the Britannic. Deal. I have Shield run over the, the Britannic, deal. and I am crashing into the Queen Mary. I gotta back up. I gotta back up. Quick, I'm well, sitting down. You dog. might be making a mistake by doing that. Oh, please back up. I'm I'm trapped. I'm stuck. Go, All go, right. go. Well, good luck. Have fun. Have I beached myself? No, I have not. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. You know what's scary is I think in the next uh, three rounds, Centrix is going to get the most powerful ship in the game and destroy us all. You know what? That was my plan, too. I have to find out what's fast. <laughs> well, I would definitely say that the SS Gillette 3, well, really the SS United States, is the most powerful ship so far. I mean, I just destroy ships in one blow, but uh, I may be damaged myself in a minute. Oh my gosh, turn, turn, go. Oh, oh man. No. Oh wow, that was quick. You missed. You missed. Right, I'm gonna back up. Here we go. 
Time to back up, time to back up. Go, 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 go. I don't know why my ship is not turning correctly. Well, That's I'm going to ram you in reverse, and we're going to see how this goes. Here we go. All right. Uh, did that do anything? Wow. Yeah, you should um, Okay, this ship may be a little OP, to it's be honest with bad. you. Um, I just ran you over. So I guess I got sure revenge did. for, uh, well, what happened before. So, uh, yeah, yeah um, very interesting. So apparently, if you want to win a ship battle, use the SS United States. It seems to be the best ship for destroying other ships. So there you go. All right, so yeah, that has been those three rounds there. We're going to go into another three rounds where we switch out the ships, we customize them, and then we get them sailing. So yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. So uh, here we go. All right, so I'm going to use the SS France for the base of my next ship. So my next ship is going to be the SS Gillette 4. Yes, we're already getting to SS Gillette 4, and you didn't even have to wait a bunch of videos to get there. So yes, let's go ahead. Let's customize it. So first things first, we want to basically change the hull color. So we're probably going to look at 200 for green, and let's see if we can do 200 for blue. That gives us a nice teal or cyan color. Um, maybe we can bump up the green just a little bit. Let's do 250. Let's see how that looks. Mm, I'll stick with uh, 200 or maybe we can go down to 150. That actually looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So uh, yeah, that looks good. Now we got to customize those funnels. So I think I'm going to stick with the same color. So 150 for that and then 200 for that. And there we are. And we can make some other changes as well. So I'm going to toggle the ropes as well. So there we are. All right, so there it is. SS Gillette 4 is ready to take to the seas and destroy some other ships. Very exciting. So uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? Fantastic. Yeah, I'm doing fantastic too. Awesome. So when you guys are ready, just let me know. And we're going to head out to sea and we are going to destroy each other. So here we oh, go. I'm very ready. All right, so everybody's ready now, and I don't know where everybody is, actually, so this is going to be a bit spooky, but here we go. Let's go ahead, and in three, two, one, let's move. Let's see if we can uh, destroy each other, and maybe we'll have a winner in this round as well, so here we go. Oh my gosh, we are heading dead on right now. This is it. We are about to ram each other. This is it. All right, boss. Here let's we go. Let's see who takes the first hit. And boom, there it is. We're both sinking. We both sank. Whoa, whoa. Wow. That is actually hilarious. Now, did you actually custom paint your ship like that? That is Yeah, super this is cool. the Grey Ghost. This is the Queen Mary wartime version. Wow, that looks amazing, dude. Oh, thank you. Wow, all right. Well, you know what's funny right now? We are okay. sinking identically right now. Yeah. Both of our ships are sinking at the same time, at the same rate, in the same way. That is actually hilarious. Centrix won for the first round. This is very good news. Yeah, Centrix didn't even hit anybody. He just was sailing along. Yeah, he was, his ship was so powerful that he didn't even have to hit anybody. Yeah, we just basically destroyed each other. So I see that your uh, ship is called the Britannic Enthusiast 2. So uh, that didn't last very long, did it? No, maybe it's time to retire the Britannic Enthusiast line and start a new one. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm actually going down a lot faster than you are right now. That's uh, surprising. That just shows you how strong my ship is, even though it's sinking. Yeah, my bridge is gone right now. I'm going to the bottom. My funnel's about to collapse. See you later, Gillette 4. Yep, I'm going down very quick. There goes my forward funnel, and I'm really going down. Oh, I think I, I, I'm gone. I, think I watched him hit ground, but that's I it. I tried to save the ship. Oh, what the heck? Oh, right, no. Then. What is going on? Well, he just what became just a What just happened sub? there? Now well, we are uh, a very interesting uh, wreck on the bottom right now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, wouldn't this be interesting? Real life, two, two wrecks side by side, that'd be crazy. That would be an interesting dive for sure, uh -huh. but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's move into, uh, round, uh, five, actually, so, let's go. Alright, so here we are in Manila, and right now, I am currently in the lead with two wins, and, uh, Centrix has got one, and Britannic Enthusiast has got one as well. But, uh, if you're ready, guys, let's go. In three, two, one and go all right i do see centrix he has oh, just good. stopped i'm gonna sail away because i am a bit scared he's obviously in a much faster ship than i am so i'm just gonna get out of here right now how are you feeling centrix right now full speed going full speed i think i can catch up to you and thank you no 
No, very bad idea. I'm moving as fast as I can to get away right now, but you're slowly catching up. You're a good five knots faster than me right now, so I'm desperately mm -hmm. trying to escape. You're leaving a trail behind you. Yes, it's called my wake you. because I'm moving very quick. Oh my gosh, turn. You are getting so close. Oh my gosh, dude. Jesse, oh, just yeah. remember, you're, he's not the only threat. I know. Wait, are you guys both hiding towards me right yeah. now? No! No! Well, I, can, I spawned on different parts of the island, so now it's time for me to take the advantage of my spot. There he is. I see him going around the corner. Now it's my time to shine and play tactical. Yeah, good luck. Head on collision. No, oh. actually, that's not true, because I just managed to escape. Congratulations. Now, what's the question here? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? It's getting very dark, so my ship will be hard to see. Have fun. I have no portholes on because it's the Grey Ghost after all. I'm not allowed to have the portholes on. Yeah, all your portholes are covered up. Yeah, that makes me sneaky in the night. And um, you have stopped completely while I have kept moving full speed. Oh no. So unfortunately, it looks like you're going to take the L on this one with no. just. Uh, Is he going to get no. hit? I'm not sure what's going on right now. I already killed him. You oh, did! Congratulations! And I pulled out my tactic and ran over no. him completely again. Well, Britannic Enthusiast, congratulations. You and I both have two wins in this battle here. So, Centrix, if you can get another win, then that means that the game will be tied. And the viewers, if they like this video, will be able to see in the next video, at least on Tiny Sailor's World, us destroy each other again, and then there will actually be a real winner. So, yes, let's move into the very final round, and let's see if it can be tied or somebody can win it overall. All right, so here we are. We are about to go into battle number six, the final battle. Let's see who wins, and here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, we are on the move, and I think I'm gonna go for Britannic Enthusiast or the Britannic right. Enthusiast 2. So here we go. Oh boy. Looks like the uh, Britannic Enthusiast 2 is zigzagging. That is a sign that they are worried. Well, yes, I am. I'm not going to lie about that. All right, let's see what we can do about this ship here. So, wait, did you just stop? Yes, did. you did. That, that this is my time away. to strike. Here we go. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. Uh oh. This is not looking good. I don't oh. know how you just sunk me by tapping me. <laughs> um, well, you're down. So, oh, uh, that, that's a little bit weird. Yep, the Britannic Enthusiast 2 has sunk. It it's is sinking weird. now. Now there's only one person left. I see you heading straight towards me. Yes, you do. You do see me heading straight towards you because I see you trying to flee. Oh boy, here we go. We are making our way directly towards Centrix and the SS United States. He is stopping. He has stopped. He's going into reverse. Centrix, what are you going to do here? Oh no! Uh oh. Here we go. Oh uh -oh. no! No! Centrix, you don't have PvP on! Oh, I've just damaged myself! Oh, oh <laughs> no! I'm still sinking though. Oh no! I'm sinking. Somehow. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I don't have PvP on. Well, that was really unfortunate for both Centrix and Britannic Enthusiast, but it was really fun. So if you want to see more battles in Tiny Sailor's World like this, and maybe even on Tiny Warship's Naval, leave comments below because this was pretty fun to do. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.